So why is Zavik in Team Eggman? From a story perspective, of course. Let's discuss right now. I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. Hello there beautiful human, my name is RidersDX and welcome to my channel where today we're finally going to talk a little bit more about Team Sonic Racing. To be honest, I feel like I've been neglecting Team Sonic Racing for a while on my channel. It's just that like I feel like I've made so many videos on Team Sonic Racing at this point that I'm really just waiting for the game to come out. Like I feel like there's nothing else to really talk about besides little news stories here and there and it's just boring. It's just boring to talk about it. I mean there has been some new like screenshots here and there, especially of Doctor's Mind which looks very really cool. And also some shots of like a new CGI cutscene which looks awesome I can't wait to actually see that in action and yeah there's been a lot of like cool stuff here and there but just nothing in my opinion that really was worthy of an actual video but I think I finally found something that's worthy of a video and that's Savik's role in Team Sonic Racing so let me go ahead and show um well actually before I do that let me go ahead and show off today's fan art and then I'll get into it sorry but here's a fan art from Aaron Gray and this is a person that posted it in my discord server and check it out check out that massive duck beak i love this it actually does it look like a shoe it looks like the shape of a shoe i love it i don't know maybe that's actually what all the duck beaks look like but for some reason the first idea i got when i looked at this image was a shoe <laughs> so i love how it's shaped like a shoe that's really awesome so thank you so much aaron um i'm not sure if aaron has any links right now when i'm recording this but if they do have any links then i'll be sure to leave it in the description box below and if it's a youtube channel i'll also leave a link in the top right corner but thank you so much aaron okay back to the topic at hand so here's a screenshot that basically spurred this idea in my head so this is a screenshot of savik in story mode oh by the way there's also been screenshots of the story mode also and as you can see it's very lame <laughs> it's just a still image kind of like it was in sonic freeriders or on ds games you know just not really something i would want for a console game especially nowadays you know it's like maybe back then it's like okay they were making like three to four side games a year i could kind of understand that but with team side racing possibly being the only side game this year like this just is like why put in the extra effort make actual rendered cutscenes. i mean you have the models there you have the environments just put in a little extra effort and make rendered cutscenes. but okay so i don't speak japanese unfortunately but i did go to the page where the screenshot was at on famitsu and then i translated the page to english and this is what i read under the screenshot it says it seems that savik is taking in independent action but what is his purpose so it looks like there is a reason that Zavik is on team Eggman it's a little bit different from I guess like making amends of Eggman and actually wanting to work with him again no there's a different reason that Zavik is here and I want to discuss in today's video what his reasoning probably could possibly be this definitely tells me that Dudampa has something up his sleeve that little egg is definitely up to no good there's definitely something sketchy about that character and it looks like Savik might be in on it and further evidence of this is that I don't know if any of you have actually have read the Team Sonic Racing comic but yeah there was a comic that came out back in November and in that comic I recall there being like a strip or two where Dudampa was actually in secret communication with Eggman and Eggman was saying something like well I need a team to race in this race you know Dudampa so there is definitely something going on between this team and Dudampa maybe some kind of inner deal that will let them all take over the world somehow because this race is taking place over different planets as you can see not just on Sonic's world but like a bunch of other places as, as well so I'm thinking that there definitely is some kind of like evil plot that is associated with these characters and that is why these people are in a team together and that's why they're racing together because otherwise Zavik it just wouldn't make sense for Zavik to be racing with Dr. Eggman because he hates Dr. Eggman he hates his guts there's definitely something going on and I'm just wondering what that what that could be since this is a a racing game and a story does not look that complicated I really do think it's just a matter of they have to work together to maybe achieve some kind of like rich treasure or something like that or some kind of weapon that's gonna help them take over the world and somehow having all these characters come in and race together is gonna make that easier for them you know probably similar to like a Sonic Riders setup where there's some kind of hidden treasure and the only way to gain access to it is to have them race I know that sounds really dumb but that's probably what the story is gonna be they're probably 
probably gonna find some fancier, more sophisticated way to explain it than the way I just explained it, but that's probably essentially what the story is going to be. And I'm not really disappointed by that, you know, it's a purpose for the characters to be together, racing in teams, and having an adventure mode to kind of increase the longevity of the game. So, that really is nothing that's bothering me per se. I feel like the Crash Racing games have a bit of a similar premise, you know, a similar simple premise that is effective in bringing all these characters together to race. So, nothing else to it. But in terms of specificities, it could honestly be anything. Maybe it's a way to collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Maybe there's some new ancient treasure that Dudampa is connected to. Maybe he's from like a different civilization that we've never seen before. You know, there's so many different possibilities. So I'd be really interested in hearing if you all have any theories yourself on why Zavik is working with Dr. Eggman and Metal Sonic. Because it's definitely not because he likes them. You could see from that screenshot and from that translation that Zavik is there for his own independent reasons. And that just tells me enough that's not like a stupid story of him coming to another mindset of like, oh, I like Dr. Eggman again, so let's work together even though he screwed me over in that last game. No, that would be stupid and that would be horribly, just horrible writing. So I'm glad that that's not what they're going with. But his actual reason for being in the race will be very interesting to find out. Well, actually it might not be interesting, but I'm hoping it is. But besides that, there's also been a bunch of other Team Sonic racing things that came out recently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly comment on like a bunch of different things that I didn't feel like was worth its own video. And one is the port of Team Sonic Racing onto mobile devices. So this doesn't surprise me at all. Sonic and mobile devices has been very successful so far. I mean, I'm personally not a big fan of mobile games, so I don't play them, but I'm sure that they make Sega a lot of good money and it doesn't really take them much effort to actually make those games. So I'm glad that Sega is able to get some more extra revenue in a way that's like cheap, but still fun for people to play on the go so I am looking forward to seeing what that Team Sonic Racing mobile game is like maybe it'll be like Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing on the mobile phones it'll, where it's just like a condensed version of the game which would be really awesome and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays and hopefully it's not too like condensed and too like suppressed from um, the official game but then again it is a mobile game so it's like what could you really expect you know <laughs> and um, so if you look at some of these images it looks like the screenshots of the mobile game someone messaged me and said that it was possibly like screenshots of the console game but I highly doubt it because if you look at these images you can see that these screenshots are inside the phone themselves so it'd be very very misleading to have these be screenshots of the actual game plus these levels look very small com in comparison to the tracks we've seen so far it just would not make sense for these screenshots to be screenshots of the console version they're way too narrow and the character models look very low rest too so yeah it, it it wouldn't make sense. Also, did you all hear the track for Frozen Junkyard? That track is awesome. I love it. You know, it sounds a little bit like the Chemical Plant remix in Sonic Generations for the modern levels. I love that fast paced action to it and Jun Sin Yu is just wowing me so much. His music is always so amazing for the Sonic franchise. I just love, love, love everything that Crush 40 does for Team Sonic Racing and for the Sonic franchise as a whole. You know, I don't think they should be there for every single game, but having them there for like maybe every other game at least is awesome and I have absolutely no issues with that. It kind of helps Sonic to develop his own distinct sound 
from other franchises and it really is just something that just shouts Sonic now, you know, especially having them in so many different games. And yeah, Frozen Junkyards just sounds completely awesome, so badass, I'm loving it. And I think the last thing I'm going to comment on is some of the achievement leaks that happened a while ago, so that's that was pretty funny. I don't know if achievements usually leak that early. They do eventually leak, but most of the time it'd be a little bit before the game comes out, right? At least that's what I'm thinking. But there wasn't really that much that we learned from the achievements, to be honest. There really wasn't that I was able to gather. I really wanted to make a video about that, but there wasn't anything really that like I could really glean from it, except this one little detail that might actually help explain Zavik's presence in the story, and that's the fact that there's seven chapters in the game's story mode. So, since there's seven chapters, does that mean there's not separate campaigns with the different teams? I'm thinking so, because the achievements only list seven chapters, so I'm really thinking that there's only one main campaign mode and maybe all the teams just share it or something. And I'm thinking since there's seven chapters, maybe that means there's um seven Chaos Emeralds to gather, you know? <laughs> would make a lot of sense. And so maybe Zavik, Zavik's reasoning for being in the game has something to do with the Chaos Emeralds. Would make a lot of sense, to be honest. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually finding out what all this is about. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I want to comment on. There's a couple other things I could say something about, but I'm just like, I feel like I've gone on long enough already as it is. And all of it is just really small little details at this point. I really am itching for gameplay. You know, we haven't seen actual gameplay of this game in forever. So they definitely should show some gameplay off at South by Southwest because it's been far too long since we've seen any footage in this game. The hype has definitely died down, you know. They really need to do some work to bring it back up because they the game's coming out in May, so you need to get this game out there. You need to start promoting it, or at least like have a plan. You know, maybe they don't need to start like right now, but hopefully they have a plan to actually have this game be rolled out in a really, really good fashion. Because otherwise, I kind of fear to see what how this game is going to perform when it actually comes out. I am very concerned about it. But okay, let me know your thoughts on everything I talked about in this video in the comment section below, especially on what you think Zavik's reasoning for being in Team Sign racing is i'd be really curious to hear your thoughts about that and also just let me know what you think about all the other stuff too the mobile port seven chapters and frozen junkyards track a lot of different things please give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these want to see more in the future follow me at twitter at riders or join my discord server the spongy garden and this is riders riding out